I'm Mel Leipzig, I'm a professor of art at Mercer County Community College, and I'm about to retire. Teaching for 45 years, and I really, I, I've been painting ever, even while I'm teaching, but now I find it, I want to paint so much, and I'm painting more than I've ever painted, so uh, I just want to paint, you know, and painting is my passion. to to be he needs to paint you know and that's just some people you know are you know they're lucky they get that to be platitudinous he's a, a campus treasure he this is a small community college in the middle of New Jersey that has a world-class artist among its faculty someone who has paintings at least at least one painting in the Whitney who has paintings in international museums who's um, uh, paintings are sought after, are exceptionally valuable. He's always had great, great renown as an artist. His work is evolving, and for a man who's been painting as long as he has, to have work that's still evolving, and he's still learning about painting, I think is an exciting thing, and I think people are appreciating that. He obviously has a very limited palette now. He didn't always have a limited palette. He used to use a full range of, of color, and now he uses four but he can get the full range of emotion that he wants in those four colors. He, he likes the, that accumulation of, of, that happens in life and how it uh, describes the person that, he's, that is also in the painting. I always relate the figure to the environment. You know, that's really important to me and I always, uh, Try to individualize the figure, you know, to make it look as much like it looks. You know, that's really important to me also. Not generic types, you know. Everybody has a quality to them. Everybody does. Uh, we're going to discuss the School of Paris, which will take us up roughly to about 1950. And we're going to begin actually on American art. Aside from being this, really, you know, kind of ridiculously um, celebrated painter, he's a wonderful teacher. People see his lectures over and over and over again because he is, um, you know, just has, has just a kind of a wonderful and warm manner. You know, I love teaching, though. I'll repeat that. You know, I love teaching. I don't think you should go into teaching if you don't like it. You know, if you don't like students and stuff like that. If you're antagonistic to them, that's not a good idea. But I really like students a lot, you know. Some teachers can be extremely hard on students. Where Mill, I don't think Mill ever criticized a student. He exudes kind of a loving, mentoring compassion to his students. Um, he cares deeply how they do in his classes. He wants them to succeed and he makes that utterly clear. I love my wife very much. I still do. But uh, if it wasn't for my wife, I would have been, I would have been able to do anything in this life. And it was just sudden, so five years now, five years, I'm on sex. She, you know, she was amazing. If we didn't have my mother, then nothing, nothing would have worked, you know, because my dad always painted, which was fine. But, you know, you need it, you know, when you're little, you need somebody. So we always had them all. And my dad needed support. And that was, you know, we all got that from my mother. You know, without her, nothing, you know, nothing would work. After Mary Jo died, he threw himself kind of headlong into both teaching and his painting. And he's probably been more prolific in the last five years uh, than he ever has been. That's, I still don't like talking about it. But I have two terrific children, and both of them are artists. And I've always told my children, 
you know, I told him, I said, you gotta do what you like. You know, it's more, it's more important than money. So many other students, um, their parents wouldn't let them be fine art majors because they were worried they wouldn't have, be able to get a job. And so they had to support themselves. So they made them, they said if they went to art school, they'd have to go to communication design. But I was different. If I wanted to be a fine art major, my father would have supported that to the end. My father supports all of us in any way, you know, in anything we want to do. It's sort of a double-edged sword because you never know if you did a bad job because they will always say it's great. <laughs> he was the father to all the students. He was the most nurturing, caring, and excellent teacher you could want. Who knows how many people he has influenced with his, with his teaching and who have become in their own rights um, estimable artists. If he pushes you, he said you can do it. You know, you can, he believes in you. So that inspired me a lot. Like he, he said that, I mean, he pushes me to go big things. <laughs> He was just so fantastic, and you wonder, well, how does he ever have time to paint? He has made it clear he wants to make as many paintings as possible in the next few years. His energy doesn't, you know, let up, but when it comes to painting, he just, he, he could just go forever. It's the process of work that's so exhilarating. It's the process of doing it, it's not, I mean, the product is fine, you know, you like that, but where your juices are all and where you're alive is in the process.